up a chair and join me today Out in my workshop I'm tinkering away Wand above staring down on me Wonder what my next project will be Working on my Johnson, my Mercury Mark 10 Firing up my Starcraft to fish again Grab your friends and your doggies too To watch Tim's Workshop on my YouTube Welcome to Tim's Workshop, back here on the uh, 1965 Three Horse Outboard Motor uh, Getting ready to put everything back together The uh, bag needle plate and all the other parts and fuel tank and everything so we can get it back in the barrel. But right now I got the drill press set up so we can uh, clean up all the hardware, make it look pretty. Got the brass uh, brush on there. So uh, hey, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave comments, hit the notification bell. And if you like, give me a like, hit the old hand thing and let your friends and family know about my videos too. All right, so let's get going on this uh, restore part five. All right, let's see. Let's get this thing going here. good I got all the uh, hardware all cleaned up with the uh, drill press I just put the wire wheel on it as you saw in the video there got that all cleaned up got this all cleaned up ready to mount the uh, magneto plate got to put some oil in just lightly put it on the cam like that now we can take the uh, magneto plate there we go so yeah you just kind of get this down over the cam the the uh, the points and then over the cam and then there's another uh, part of it that the inner diameter of the magneto so you get that and get that all the way down and then the screws you got to get them started into the into the plate so we'll start the small one on the inside first here we go okay Get this one started over here. Okay, and then this one. Got a long ways to go. Okay, that's good. So now we're gonna set the points. So I don't know if you can see this or not. See where it says top? And there's a little arrow right next to the P and I put like a little black mark right there. So what we want to do is we want to turn this. So what we'll do is we'll put the nut back on here. So we're going to get this over there. So it's on the top, lined up on the, on the black mark. The micarta piece that's on the end of that point, on the back end of the point, is lined up with that arrow. Okay, so now we're going to check the gap. Breaker point gap is 20 thou. Most of them are, to tell you the truth. 20 thou, there it is. Get the flashlight up here. See what this is set at. Looks a little tight. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, that's perfect. Now we're gonna turn this and we're gonna check it as we turn it to see if it uh, goes over that 20. We'll turn it some more. That's still good. That's still good. That's getting tight. Okay, that's good. That's what we want. Okay. Now let's get it over here to where this opens up and it's on the mark. And let's see. Too tight. So somebody had it set a little too tight on this. Okay. So we got 20 on it, right? So we're gonna try a 21. And I can't get that in, okay? So we're good. Okay. Okay, that works. And then 21. Won't fit. Okay. Cool. Let's get the nuts and put the nuts on the carburetor. There we go, there's one. Okay, that's on. Get this on. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. This is the part we need to put on first. Not sure which way it goes on. So let's get the other part. that and this goes Okay, now Okay, now we're gonna get this uh, screw tight. We got the uh, carburetor two nuts tight. Now we gotta get this top screw tight. Okay, 
So all this intake is now done. 